Hello, and welcome back to the EU Salt Mine. I am your host, Brian. Our current league leader returns today, and faces a fellow upper bracket competitor from the qualifier. Before the series, let me say thank you to our sponsor, Manscaped. They contributed half the prize pool, the other half was given very generously and very anonymously. Alpha looked good coming into the mine, but has had very close series so far. Two matches that went down to the final game left him with one win and one loss. Oh Khalid is 2 for 0 so far in the mine, today is a chance to further secure a league lead. Do you think he can hold this form all the way to the gauntlet? If Alpha can beat Okali today, he will move up to join the race for the top. After all the cars we saw yesterday, we see a Fennec mirror between Okali and Alpha today. The only player in the league who hasn't already lost a series, Okali. Going up against a player who just lost his last game to the one everybody thought was going to be the underdog. Well, that's interesting. Alpha getting a bump on Ocalid where surely one wasn't expected. Ocalid just trying to play the ball into the midfield. Waste some time. He has to be careful though because Alpha scored pinches from here before. He can aim his pinch shots depending how far back he is. But is Alpha ready to deal with probably the best bounce dribbler in the world right now? Ocalid has had outrageously effective dribbling. He's trying to keep that up today, and he already starts off with a goal and a demo as well. This is going to be hugely problematic for Alpha, unless he can get some ball pressure going. Really, if you think about it, could be a nightmare matchup for Alpha. He loves to sit back in defense. One of the players who's more prone to do so in the league. And if Ocalid's hitting his shots as well as he usually does, that is not going to work very well for Alpha. Now, at the other end of the field, I think Alpha should have quite a lot of success against Ocalid's defense, but how does he even begin to save shots like this? This is just perfection from Ocalid. So much power, 110 kilometers an hour. Perfectly drilled into the far right corner. Getting a hold of the ball and making every single chance count what Alpha needs to do here. Well, he's keeping in touch so far. A couple of chances, a couple of goals. As long as he can keep these games close, he definitely has a chance to match Ocalid for mechanics and match him for strategy. How do you stop Ocalid's dribbling? That's the question nobody's been able to answer so far. Ocalid brings the ball back into his own half. Misses his touch to scoop the ball over the top of his goal, but... Alpha wasn't ready to move on it. Quick up aerial by Ocalid. Boost is running low for him here. Alpha's been able to win the exchange. With regard to the boost advantage, and that's what saved him from conceding here. He needs to start scoring as many chances as he can. As soon as Ocalid gets the ball down into a dribble, it is pretty much over. Power shot from Ocalid from distance. Not expecting that one to go in, but it does lead into the boost seal in the corner. Alpha playing quite an efficient game himself. Saving up an awful lot as he knew the boost seal was coming. Alpha gives a bounce dribble a go himself, and Ocalid's uh, actually been baited into challenging this one. Another boost seal for Alpha. He's already stolen quite a few of those. It looks like every time he does, Ocalid's boost is hurting more than Alpha's is when he's the receiving end of a boost seal, so... Small advantage there for Alpha, and he denies the boost seal, actually, in his own corner. This might be the game plan for Alpha. Just try and deny Ocalib the boost that he needs to play at the pace he wants to play at. Ocalib's got more than one speed that he's comfortable at. Alpha needs to be careful. That's almost in. It is in now. Alpha with a 50-50. Gets the ball on the goal line, and then turns around to finish the, to finish the job. It's... Just over halftime, and Alpha's ahead by one. Ocalid really can win here today and keep up his undefeated run. That would be ridiculous. After everybody in their first two games has already lost at least once to go 3 0, it'd be impressive. And Alpha trying to rebound here from a tough loss against OSM. And if he should do that, we would have a whole pile of players on two wins and one loss. 
Un that would be also unsurprising, given how stacked the league is. Aerial shot by Alpha. And Ocalid starting to feel the pressure here. This is what happens when you deny boost from your opponent for extended periods of time. They start to take more risks, start to maybe turn around and challenge when it would be wiser to just back off. That's what's happening to Ocalid now. Alpha's boost management and boost control starting to take its toll. And Ocalid picks up a goal after Ocalid's, after Alpha Rather's mind game. Air dribble doesn't work out. Now, Alpha's got to be careful with these low 50-50s of mind games because Ocalid lo loves to dodge through the ball in his challenges. He would rather be dribbled than mind games. And that's not a philosophy I disagree with. Fake challenge on the back wall by Ocalid. But Alpha sees it coming and places a ceiling shot well. And that timing by Alpha was completely perfect. Also, as soon as Ocala jumped off the back wall, that's when Alpha makes his play. He's doubled the scoreline of his opponent again. Not long left in the game. If you look at the rate that goals are being scored at, Ocala's going to have to start scoring with as many dribbles as possible. And look at that, heavy touch on a bounce dribble. Rarely do you see Ocala making mistakes like this. And now he's understeered on the back wall. Maintains possession. He's maybe thinking about an air dribble bump. Makes it a dunk, but Alpha saved it. So far, both players not able to score with their air dribbles. Khaled thinking about another one, but there's a shot instead. And Alpha couldn't react to it. Perfect placement again from Khaled. Alpha might have been expecting another air dribble here because it was a very delayed dodge. Alpha had a lot of the goal covered, but when your shooting's that good, you're going to score every once in a while. Khaled back within two. That's not in yet, but Ocala's going to have to be careful here. Looks for the mind game, but Alpha reads it. And that is a hard, hard read for Alpha. He could have gone into the corner for the boost seal right here, but he knew there was a good chance that Ocala would try and dribble this, so he stayed on it, not wanting to give him the free possession. That's really smart. Knowing that your opponent is a dribbler, somebody who likes to bring the ball down and start to work his way forward on the ground, and not allowing him to do that right from the kickoff. Seven, four, still. Khaled trying to make a comeback and he's caught a bump on Alpha. Alpha, who was flying off the underside of the crossbar here. It looked like a good strategy for Alpha and it very often is when you're defending air dribble bumps. But Khaled still made contact with him. That's a brilliant touch. Had to go under the ball and then up into Alpha who is trying to hit the top of it. Khaled keeping the game close at the end here. Thinking about a boost seal, decides to just take the ball back to halfway instead. Brilliant spacing by Alpha, but he's fallen for the low 50-50, and that is a one-goal game. Alpha managed to sneak into the danger zone, uncontested. But then he just flipped the ball straight into Ocalid's bumper. And now it's a very, very difficult 40 seconds ahead of Alpha. It's going to become a lot more difficult if this goes in, and it will. That is 7-all. And from three goals down, Ocali comes back with plenty time to spare. Kickoffs were going well for Alpha earlier on. And now they have started going horribly. Is that just going in? Yes, it is. 8-7. What on earth just happened to Alpha 54's kickoff? He has just lost four in a row. After getting not just wins, but kickoff goals earlier on in the game. Brilliant adaptation by Ocali, but Alpha really needs to try and make one of his own now. Or this game is going to be over. And he's going to get a brilliant shot off the bar to tie things up again. Both players shooting so well, denying any real opportunities to save these shots. That was a perfectly placed finish by Alpha in off the bar from point blank range. And with 28 seconds left, we're all tied up again. The lead has changed hands several times. But Alpha's had it for most of the game. Will he get it back in the final 30 seconds? He misses his bounce dribble. Khaled dives in, but he comes away with nothing. Alpha reversing away from the challenge. Looks like Khaled will get one more chance to dribble before this game is over. Alpha trying to challenge him as fast as he can. Khaled might have one more opportunity here. That is a zero second dribbling play, but he's dropped it. And into overtime we go. Khaled knew he had to go fast, but he let the ball go too fast. And he didn't pop it in time. Alpha gets away with murder at the end of game one. And he's still got some work to do. He's in an advantageous position here, even though Khaled has the ball. Alpha has all the boosts. Khaled might have overstayed his welcome. That is open for Alpha. 
Well, Khaled lunges at the near post and saves it. Staying on the ball. Well, Khaled trying desperately to get a clear ball here, but he's used all his boost for nothing there. Alpha looking for a way through. Doesn't get it at the far post, but the boost seals are coming in. One after another. And O'Khaled needs a clear ball here. It's going to just be a game for Alpha eventually. So many chances for Alpha already in this overtime, but he hasn't taken them. Still has O'Khaled completely boost starved on. There is the misplay. Alpha gets the win. It took a long time. There were many, many opportunities before he got the finish. But eventually, the boost starvation paid off. Relentless pressure finally wins the overtime for Alpha. After losing the lead he had earlier, that must feel very relieving. O'Khaled does not look far off pace though, and we could have a close series ahead of us. At least I think so, with my average brain. Not the most comfortable game one for Alpha, but the result he wanted nonetheless. O'Khaled, after early success with the dribbles, wasn't able to establish ground control, and it's all from the boost management of Alpha. Seems to have more efficient usage off the yellow stuff. And there are definitely more key boost seals for Alpha. Al Ocalid had a few, but they didn't do as much damage as Alpha's did. Denying Ocalid that possession that he so desperately wants to control the game with. And what we thought might be stylistic mismatch in Ocalid's favor, Alpha's been able to turn into quite a comfortable game for him. He does enjoy these long back and forths in the midfield. He'd rather dribble the ball around for a good while and then score on somebody who's completely out of boost. But O'Callaghan's turned early here. That is wide open for him. And he reads the ball well bounce with ease to make it a one goal game. Good switch up here by O'Callaghan. Alpha fully expected him to back off there. That's why he's popped the ball so high. He wanted to keep the bounce dribble going. But O'Callaghan too smart. He's not just going to play the same strategy all day long. Alpha shot. Forces O'Khaled back into net. O'Khaled will save once. He will save twice. And Alpha, just like in the end of the last game, controlling the boost, controlling the ball, and I think... Has that gone in? No, it's actually gone wide! And just like that, O'Khaled back in the game. It looked like Alpha had done enough there. Got the ball past his opponent. Didn't go in, and now the bounce dribble commences, but it looks nervous from O'Callaghan. He's decided to just go for a low 50-50 there instead of continuing with a dribble or a shot. I'm surprised to see that, honestly, because usually in those positions, O'Callaghan doesn't think twice. He just goes right in for the finishing blow. Perhaps he's worried that Alpha is going to get the save and then force O'Callaghan back for minutes at a time. No flip reset for Alpha. No demo for O'Callaghan. Possession changing hands. And rapid fire. Nobody able to make a goal happen. We've only seen one in two minutes of gameplay. Khaled has an opportunity here, but Alpha quickly down the line. Towards his own half. Still in control of the ball. This is usually the kind of play that ends up in an Alpha 54 goal. As soon as he decides he's got a sufficient advantage, and there it is. Makes contact with the bump midair. And the ball, although slowed down, did have enough pace on it to cross the line in the bottom corner. We're all tied up at 1-1. Khaled. A good kickoff win and Alpha's committed to the back corner now. Great speed in the challenge by Alpha. Not giving Khaled any time to set up his aerial plays. Like other matchups I have said that might be one of Khaled's weaknesses but not by any means a huge weakness. A little 50-50. Tempted by Ocala, but Alpha's standing strong in the way of it. More of a chess match here than a game of Rocket League. We've hardly seen anything in the way of shots and saves. It's been fully midfield focused. But Ocala, with a keen eye, spots an opening as the ball was high up in the air, but close enough to the back wall that he could reach it first. Two minutes left. One goal game still. Ocala, for the most part, in the driver's seat this game. It's been out of position here though, and Alpha's got it past him again. And that was certainly suspect from O'Callaghan. I'm not sure why he decided to jump here. Maybe expecting Alpha to slow play. But right as he jumped, Alpha decided to accelerate the ball, and that's when 
Kyle had a bit of regret at his decision. He knew that it was past the point of no return. Another bounce dribble for Ocala. He hasn't seen too many of them today, but as soon as he does settle into one of them, he scores. And I do wonder why he hasn't committed on more of these bounce dribbles, just taking the shot that he's so good at. Made the flicks happen that we've seen him do time and time again. He's relied too often, I think, this series on 50-50s and alpha misplays, which are unlikely to happen. Alpha not one for too many unforced errors. He's got a forced one here from Ocala. Alpha threatening the demo. Ocala just gave the ball away. Instead of dribbling it back into his corner, he just left it behind. And Alpha just scoops the shot into the goal for three all. And that's careless by Ocala. He's certainly the one who's making more mistakes out of the two players, but he's also the one making more plays this game. He's trying to make another one here. Another air double dunk. But actually, Alpha's gone and fallen into his own goal. And he didn't make contact with Ocalid or the ball here. I don't know why Alpha decided to take off with this much momentum. Surely he intended to dodge into this ball because the double jump made no sense whatsoever. Very strange game two here. Both players with some uncharacteristic misplays. Ocalid's starting to start his authority on the ground. As he's been given more boost to play with this game. And now a little turn is all he needs. To knock another one into Alpha's net. Alpha probably wanted a bump on this play. He didn't realize just how fast Al Ocala was turning. He thought that there was going to be more of an infield direction there. Still, only two goals in it. But Alpha needs some kickoffs to go in his favor. And there haven't been too many of those in the latter half of game one. Or the entirety of game two. Ocala has had the boost advantage from this kickoff. And he now he has the ball as a result. 50 seconds left. Alpha forced to make a play here doesn't have the time to wait and sit back and watch what Ocala's doing anymore. Has to try and create his own chances. Ocala still on the ball, still making things up. <laughs> just quadruple touched it into his own net. Oh no, what on earth was this? How many touches did Alpha get here? That was, yep, four touches. <laughs> As he says, how does this keep happening to me? Well, Alpha, you gave the ball away and then you did nothing as it flew over your head. You just kind of knocked it into your own upright. And a pretty comical way for game two to end if that is the last goal that we see. Alpha going to struggle to come back from this position because he's not been winning kickoffs at the end of the game. And Ocala definitely has what it takes to waste some time or waste 20, 30 seconds if he has to just to maintain a two or three goal lead. All these aerial plays working in Ocalid's favor. That's all the time gone for Alpha. And Ocalid with, in the end, quite an easy win in game number two because Alpha didn't do enough to force him to play his game. Game one, we saw Alpha controlling the boost, denying Ocalid's boost 24-7. In this game, Ocalid didn't have that problem. And it's all coming from the center circle. He's won a whole bunch of kickoffs as well. Let's see if Alpha can do any better in game three for now. We are right back to level score. Khaled's still in the hunt for a 3-0 perfect record in league play. Thank you Manscaped for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for you, to earn 20 which is a 20% discount for Manscaped purchases. The scoreline is level, but it's Alpha who has more questions to answer now. This first kickoff should tell us a lot about what's in store in game three. Alpha so far not making the necessary adjustments. He's getting crushed again by Ocala, who's just forcing the ball to the outside on most of the kickoffs. It's good speed though by Alpha. Who needs boost when you can wave dash? And he's 1-0 up. Ocala didn't expect this burst of speed from him. It was a perfect touch into the wall as well. Alpha passing to himself in field. Although he didn't have a chance to control Ocala's boost in the last game because every kickoff seemed to go against him. Still able to do a lot with a little and that's something Ocala hasn't had in his back pocket as, certainly as much as Alpha has. A little 50-50 saved by Alpha. Ocala won't be too disappointed with the outcome here though. He's putting Alpha in a very awkward position. That's not quite on target yet but it might be momentarily. Oh, Ocala just couldn't 
get the angle right. He was trying to reverse back into position, but the ball was just beside him the entire time. Yeah, that's a brilliant dribble by Alpha, but he sent it too high, and it doesn't bounce kindly for him either. Okay, let's get to try and show him how it's done. No, he's actually flipped the ball with the second half of his dodge. I don't know if this was intentional by Ocali, but it's worked out incredibly well. Wow, if he meant that, that is a crazy good play. And I, you know, I'm going to give him credit for it. There's a really good chance that he did mean that because without accurate his flicks have been from close range, I really wouldn't be surprised if he's done that on purpose. A play that we've never really seen consistently executed by anyone. We saw Fairy Peak do that twice in one game last year. I would love to see that again from O'Callaghan, just to show us that he can do it with consistency. Alpha must be terrified if he has to face delayed flicks like that multiple times in a series. So difficult to read, so difficult to stop. Khaled trying to force the boost advantage here. He might have overextended again. I think he can maybe get back here. No, he can't. And that's two goals for Alpha. Where Khaled just overextends in the opposition corner. He's got a boost advantage there and on the previous goal that he conceded. But he forces the issue a bit too much and Alpha gladly takes the open net across the field. More boost after the kickoff for Alpha. Allows him to get to the ball first. And he has just put the long shot on target. So three goals now for Alpha, all as Ocala over extends. Welcome surprise, I imagine, for Alpha. And now he's won a kickoff with a delayed approach. And that is exactly what he needs to keep doing. Surprise Ocala with his kickoff strategy. Because again, Ocala is flipping to the outside there, looking for a big win. Alpha, instead of getting there quickly, has just arrived late, kind of absorbed the kickoff. Good speed by Alpha, the shot as well is perfect, it's just dipping on target at the last second. Forces Ocalid back, and once again Ocalid has drained an awful lot of boost in a failed offensive play, and Alpha goes up 5-2. And now all those earlier misplays where Ocalid overextends and gets scored on, looking a lot more meaningful. Didn't look too bad when he was in a tie game situation when he's ahead by one, but now Alpha scoring with a lot more consistency. Khaled would probably want to have those positions back and try and play them more safely. It's like Alpha does when he's in that spot. Usually, when Alpha has a boost advantage in Khaled's end, it's only a matter of time before Alpha will find a way through. But Khaled multiple times this game, forcing the issue when he has the advantage and ending up running into an unfavorable challenge. Alpha up 6-2 now. This is a huge lead for these two players because there haven't been too many large swings of goals. It's been very back and forth. Khaled again investing a lot of boost on the kickoff. Passes to himself for the rebound. Look at that by Alpha. That is brilliantly done. Nice shot, says Khaled. I think he's really impressed with the save here because Alpha came out of his own goal off the crossbar to intercept a backboard bounce. That is very rare to see. Alpha's so consistent with those, of course. He's going to be 8-2 up. This is a brutal game. You know, I said there were hardly any large swings of goals between these two players. Alpha has put, I think, seven goals in consecutively now. So Khaled getting completely caught off guard by the efficiency, by the counter-attacks of Alpha, and he's got to watch out because here comes a pinch shot. Not one of Alpha's best ones. Still enough to force Ocali to give away the ball for free. Khaled takes it back with a demo, but he has to score with pretty much every attack he's going to get from here on. And this doesn't look like the best one he's ever had. Needs multiple bumps, he gets them, and even then the ball rolls wide. And it's an unconfident looking offense for Ocali in this game. Gets a demo on Alpha and then scores the ball into his own net. Just like I said earlier in the series, I would love to see Ocala committing to more shots at the end of these bounce dribbles because far too often I'm seeing him roll the ball directly at Alpha, expecting Alpha to somehow flip out of the way of it. Alpha is just really not the kind of player to do that. Oh, that's a good pass though, Alpha. <laughs> feeling sorry for uh, Ocala after scoring eight goals in a row. Just gives him one back. Well, it's maybe not over just yet, but... Realistically, does Alpha concede six goals from a 1 minute and 35 second timer? I don't think so. I think 
Joe Callan for the most part here. Just going to try and warm up his mechanics for game number four. Try and figure out what he's doing wrong here. This is a more promising play, but saved even though it was last second still by Alpha 54. It's really leveled up here defensively in game number three. Smooth catch though by O'Callaghan and Alpha. I'm gonna give him a nice shot for that one because I did not expect O'Callaghan to catch the ball as cleanly as that with a wave dash. Five goals in it, just over a minute left. It wouldn't be completely out of this world for O'Callaghan to come back here. He has been winning a lot of kickoffs today. But Alpha collects the ball in the back. He's actually giving it away though. I don't know about that for Alpha because now he's going to defend and gets another ground play. Looks like he will defend successfully for now. Lots of time being wasted while doing so, but this is dangerous for Alpha to just give the ball to O'Callaghan. Now the bounce dribble master does what he does best. O'Callaghan has stopped him though and that's huge. That might be a big blow to O'Callaghan's confidence as well. It's one of his dribbles, gets denied. He will get one more goal, and if nothing else, he's now on the three goal streak, so time is too short for him to realistically come back in game three, but he's giving himself something to think about before game four gets underway. Kickoff will confirm the alpha victory, unless, yes, okay, he will save this shot. I thought maybe there was an opening for O'Callaghan, because alpha ran for boost. Alpha not going to give him too many chances here. He's going to give him one more goal. But the time is just not there for O'Callaghan. He's missed too many opportunities this game. He's been too hesitant with his offense. He's been too careless with his challenges. Trying to force boost advantages to give him goals quickly rather than just playing a controlled style like Alpha does and waiting for the goal to happen. And Alpha... Really surprised O'Callaghan. He definitely surprised me with how well he played in this third game. Really be able to keep that up going into game number four. And confirm another loss for an undefeated player in the EU Salt Mine. Alpha is back in the lead now and is the first to reach match point. O'Callaghan might be feeling shaky or something. Fortunately for him he has a short rest to regroup and settle into his usual playstyle. But can he extend the series? A big chance now for Alpha to get back to winning ways. Khaled trying everything here to hold on to his unbeaten position at the top of the league. In the league where everybody's trading wins and losses and beating each other. Staying at the top with none, the losses that is, would be huge. Can almost confirm a world spot this early on if he can keep it up. But Alpha has proven to be a much tougher opponent for O'Callaghan than I think everyone was expecting after watching their last two games. Early challenge coming in for O'Callaghan. He does make good contact on the ball. Looking back at that play, it's not a terrible idea because some of Alpha's ceiling shots have been quite scary. I like O'Callaghan's decision to just challenge that one early, deny the ceiling shot from even being set up in the first place. Already we're seeing a more defensive look for O'Callaghan in game four compared to last game where he was caught out of position fairly often early on. A minute goes by, no goals. O'Callaghan's still trying to challenge early at times if he sees an opening, if he reads a heavier touch from Alpha. There's another one. Fake challenge and a turnaround for O'Callaghan. He takes the ball relatively easily and Alpha's given him a lot of space here. That is dangerous, but he saved it anyway. And there's a the clear ball as well. O'Callaghan having to run back so quickly because every time Alpha on the counter-attack so quick with his shots. But it looks like O'Callaghan is also going to be pretty quick with his counters. And this all comes from that little touch there into the back wall. That's exactly what O'Callaghan needed to get the counter-attack going any less and it would have rolled up the wall any more and it would have gone into the corner. But just right, he gets a goal. 1-0 for O'Callaghan in game number four. Decides to make an early play on the bounce dribble and this is what you want to see from him. No hesitation, no just rolling the ball at Alpha hoping he'll jump out of the way. No, this time he takes a shot and it does end up in the top corner after Alpha's touch. You'll love to see O'Callaghan dribbling 
and then making a play happen, not just waiting to see what his opponent will do, just because it's amazing to watch somebody be so effective with his ground plays. Even Alpha, world-class goalkeeper and defender, struggling to deal with Ocalid when Ocalid plays with the confidence that he currently seems to have. Another long shot goes in for 3-0. That's careless for Alpha. He tried to get some pressure going, tried to bump Ocalid near the sidewall, but he's missed it, and it seems like the risk was not really worth the reward there. Ocalid taking miles out of the game, or rather Alpha was. A lot of boost for Ocalid here, Alpha. Some space to work with on the right-hand side. He goes straight down the middle instead, and you can smell the bump coming. Ocalid can't do anything about it, although I'm sure he knew what was happening as well. Alpha is just that level of player when it comes to air dribble bumps. It doesn't matter how good you are at avoiding them. They're going to go in at times. Brilliant shot by Ocalid. High, but not too high. Fast. And definitely too fast for Alpha. With just over half the game to go, he's ahead by three again. Extremely close series between these two. Let's have many other series been in this tournament, but Alpha's caught Ocalid turning, and he's back within two. Alpha so far today has struggled to read Ocalid's early challenges, but it looks like this time he was ready for it. Ocalid's going to need to be more careful if he's going to move in. He needs to disguise his approach. Oh dear, Alpha's just giving him the ball here. That's going to be 5-2. Not the clear ball that Alpha was looking for. It didn't buy himself any time. It didn't really get the ball away from danger either. I don't know what he had in mind with that one. He was probably worried to score into his own net if he hit it more to the right. But he certainly didn't end up on top of the play with what he did decide to do. And that's brilliant speed by Ocalid. Alpha baited into the mid boost. Thought, okay, maybe I can win the race to this one when Ocalid's up in the air. But he flew back down. And that bump actually helped Ocalid get into position quicker. Two goals for Alpha, six for Ocalid. We're looking like we're going to a game five here. Unless Alpha can do something about this. Dead ball on a low 50-50. Alpha's just hiding behind it. Ocalid only really wanted to dodge through the ball there, though. Mind game is not going to work from that range. Nice little pull back there from Ocalid, denying Alpha. Big 50-50 win. The shot lacking power. Alpha playing for the wall instead of going in field. Has to get flip reset if he wants to dodge here. Didn't land it. Khaled coming in quick and down the middle again for another counter attack. Thought about a 50 50, but decided against it because Alpha's right there. This is not a favorable back and forth for Alpha. Usually, he's happy to do this for minutes at a time, but when you're down by four with only a minute and 20 seconds left, you can't let Khaled control the ball this much. Alpha scares him away with another ceiling approach. Coming off the underside of the goal. Just like I said before, Alpha needs to do more than just deny Ocalid goals at this point. He has to create some of his own. But where are they going to come from? It doesn't look like he's got any real way to disrupt Ocalid's control. It's really good by Ocalid to just dribble the ball around here. He doesn't need any more goals. He just needs time to be wasted. And that's exactly what he's playing for. There's the demo for, for Alpha. A chance for him to make something happen. He really does need to score with this play, and he's not going to because the early challenge from Ocalid catches him off guard, and that is a 7-2 lead. You want to watch a player and learn how to mix up your defense, how to catch your opponent off guard with the occasional early challenge, and then have some impressive shadow defense at times as well. Definitely take a look at Ocalid's defense because choosing some very good times to make those early challenges happen. And you'll notice that most of the time that he does do it, the first thing he tries to do, right, just like that, is position himself on the opposite side of the ball from his opponent so that their vision isn't perfect. There, Alpha. Couldn't really see where or when the challenge was going to come in from. And that's because Ocalid is challenging from right behind the ball. It's always his number one setup for challenges and for tackles, Alpha. Denied a third goal in the closing seconds. But he is going to get a game five against Ocalid. Let's see who can get the W. And so we are going to game five. Definitely an excellent outcome for us viewers.
Ocala draws the series level, taking his turn controlling the game. I really don't know what to expect from either player today, aside from entertainment. Game 5, Alpha vs Khaled. Who wants it more? Who is willing to make the big plays happen? Who's going to hesitate and wish they could have a rerun? Early on, it's Alpha under control. You can bet he's going to just run this ball around for as long as he feels comfortable with and then eventually take a shot when the opportunity comes. It looks like he's mistimed his boost deal though. He arrived way too early. Back at Position number one there. Now Khaled is coming down the middle of the other side. Great save though by Alpha. He avoided the bump and then got in the way of the ball. He's nicked the boost in his own back corner. And now he's going to try and show Khaled how his air dribble bump is done. But oh, Khaled's early challenge will disrupt his attack as well. Both players defending effectively early on. Two different methods for dealing with air dribble bumps, but both can work if executed properly. The early challenge or the very last second save on the ball maybe that is how this game's going to be decided who can defend better who's going to make the first mistake so Khaled on the dribble again he's just so good with these shots but one goes wide inside of the post to the rescue for Alpha looks like he's going to take the ball under control that's a big let off because he didn't have a good position to save that shot had it been on target Khaled's going to be kicking himself for letting Alpha off the hook there for now, he also holds on to his clean sheet. Another bounce dribble for O'Callaghan. He has to take the 50-50 in this one. There is no angle to shoot with. The game plan is pretty crystal clear for O'Callaghan, but it also hasn't worked out. He hesitates, takes too long to move the ball, and gets absolutely crushed in a 50-50. That has just gone straight in. Brilliant challenge by Alpha. Don't know if he sensed weakness or if he was just sick of waiting on the goal line for something to happen. But what he did do worked out pretty well. Ocal responds immediately. And we're right back to a tie game with a kickoff goal. Alpha's delayed kickoff here. Didn't work out. Ocal waiting till later to dodge into the ball to get multiple touches on it. Looks like he's going to get another kickoff goal as well. That's 2 1 now in favor of Ocal. And Alpha must be thinking, what did I do wrong? Just as soon as I take the lead, now we've lost two kickoff goals in a row. But it looks like O'Callaghan was just more committed to winning the ball on that outside of uh, the spawn than Alpha was. He's mixing things up well. He hasn't gone for the same kickoff strategy two games in a row, O'Callaghan. Sometimes pushing the ball across to the opposite side he spawned on. This game he's trying to hook round it and keep it in the side that he's spawning on. And that's really messing with Alpha, who's... I think try to adjust his kickoff to counter O'Khaled. There you see Alpha does have a good response to the push kickoff, but hooking style the four did not do too well for him. That's a great shot, and we're actually getting our vision impaired by a goal explosion for the first time. And Alpha's flick brilliantly timed, even though it's just a good old front flip. Still effective if you can hit it properly. One goal in it, O'Khaled on the hunt for the perfect 3-0 oh, at the top of the league. Everybody else but him already losing, and Alpha's missed a save that he really should be making. That might be the mistake that comes back to haunt him later on. You would have your money on Alpha saving shots like this. He was up at the right height, but he didn't fly on the goal line. He was behind it. Khaled's ahead by two. Alpha. Half flipping into position, but not even his boost is going to get him to the ball fast enough because Alpha's, or Khaled rather, flipped first. And now Alpha, seeing what it's like when both of his boosts get stolen. Khaled has overextended from this position earlier in the series. Not going to make that mistake here, though. Fakes a shot, catches the ball down low and lifts it across the line. He's ahead 5-2, just over half time. Alpha's in a world of trouble here. Unable to establish control like he did in the games which he won. Kickoff is doing work for O'Callaghan. Back into the air he goes. Looking for the dunk, but Alpha is flying straight into the ball. That's not going to pay off for him. And I think that shot's too fast. Yes, it is. Alpha drills one all the way from his end of the field to the other. And he's back within a second, or back within two goals. Long time to go. For now, Alpha is not suffering the same 
sort of deficit that he was earlier on from kickoffs. Still can't get rid of Ocali though. He's sticking around here with no boost. And putting on a ton of pressure. The fact that every single one of these shots is high he prevents Alpha from really thinking about a counter attack and gives Ocali time to find boost while Alpha's recovering. Now we're going to see another Ocali ground play. This is not where Alpha wants to be. He would love to get the ball under control here. And luckily for him, Ocali's gone for a ball carry rather than a bounce dribble. And I don't think that it's the same level for him. He's not you know, got the same amount of threat from that position. Still threatening, but bounce dribble I think is better for him. Minute at 23 left. Alpha avoids the demo on the back wall. Ocali is getting some turnovers of possession without too much difficulty here. That's a good save. And the near post top corner. Alpha, in an attempt to flick the ball back into his own corner, has missed. He gives away possession again. The ball's doing laps here, and just like last game, although this is a position where Alpha, I'm sure, is pretty confident he'll get the next goal in. When is he going to get the next goal? There's really not too much time left. If you've scored three goals in four minutes, how are you going to get two in 50 seconds? Alpha's saving a lot of shots here. He's getting a lot of chances. But the shots he's taking, the choices he's making are not enough to catch Ocala off guard who's just playing a solid game now that he's got a two goal lead Alpha 35 seconds left needs to make something happen where is it going to come from Ocala solid again in the way of another air dribble and that might be game ocala has got the boost to waste all the time that's remaining in the match and I wouldn't blame him for doing so because he just wants that perfect 3-0. But he's actually backflipped by accident. Alpha messes up his flick as well. Both players making mistakes at the end of the game here. Alpha's got one more chance to send us into a one-goal game. And he does get it. Not the most convincing flick, but Khaled's goalkeeping was equally ineffective. Eight seconds left. Alpha needs a kickoff win. He doesn't need a goal, but he would love to have the possession here to have a chance at getting another zero-second goal. He's going to get it with 100 boost. Ocalid's backed off. Can Alpha do it again on zero? Yes, he can, but Ocalid saves it. What a stop on zero. He wins the series in game five and stays undefeated. Well, that really did come down to the final second. What a way to end the series. Ocalid survives the comeback attempt and finds his third series win in a row. Alpha maybe has caught the game five curse and has lost two out of three now. Ocalid now looks more distant at the top of the table again, the only player on three wins. It's a good run of form and will soon look like certain world's invitation if it continues. The group of players with only one win is increasingly confusing to tie-break, with every series potentially shifting the balance. But who will rise out of the group first? Thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for Manscaped purchases, to only 20, which will give you a 20% discount. Come back tomorrow for another Ocalid game, as he tries to extend his win streak. He's up against OSM who is trying to prove that he is back on form. Thanks for watching today. This is the EU Salt Mine, I am your host, and friend, Brian.